do this, right? If you were to debit and you wanted to debit, to debit 500 pounds, right? And someone comes comes into your work and they're walking like this. Like, dude, what's wrong with you? Like, oh, I'm trying to deadlift all this way. The first thing that you're gonna say is what? You're probably doing it wrong, right? Like the first is first you guys end, right? But now fast, fast forward, someone comes into the office and they start walking like this. Like, hey man, what'd you do? And the person says, I ran a marathon. Everyone goes, oh, okay, that's how you should feel, right? It's like, no, you should not feel like that. You should not feel like that. You're running, it's you against you. So I used to be a coach here prior to that too. I was actually Edge's first, first coach, and I think I was actually his first CrossFit member here, okay? And we would do all these like workouts, and any time there was running as like a part of it, running was the only thing I thought I was good at. But yeah, I was getting smoked. Run. Am I getting too old? Am I, you know, am I lifting the weights wrong? Something isn't right. So the guy had videotaped us uh, running, right? Videotaped us already. And so I was almost proud. Oh yeah, I get to videotape me running. I'm gonna show the whole class I'm the best runner. And he started talking about my faults. And this is what I feel like when I run. I'm like, wow, this is crazy. Like it all, it all makes sense. So it saying that I really had to be conscious of running for. So being a coach here for all these years, people, especially in the summertime, people are always like, oh man, I think I hurt my back doing kettlebell swings. I think I hurt my back doing this and that. It's like, no, I don't think it's that, right? Because you figure, everyone comes in here from the run, uh, kettlebell swings are perfect, grab one. The second they run the doors of bags, like seven feet back, it's like, uh, I don't think it has anything to do with the kettlebell swings. It has 100% to do with the way you're running out the door, right? But no one thinks about running. It's like, I just need to get there and back wherever the distance is, right? So we're gonna go through different things here as far as like warm up, stretching, breathing, form. The first thing I'd like to talk about with you guys is this, right? So there's stats that come out. 60% of all people that run suffer an injury at some part, right, of their running stuff, right? I truly believe it really comes down to form, right? When you see someone lifting with poor form, you immediately spot it, right? It, like you go to, to, to balance yourself, right? And you see someone pick up a dungeon, it's terrible, like what are you doing? You're gonna hurt your back. When you're running, you want gravity to do the work for you, right? If it's upright, it doesn't go nowhere. But as it starts to lean, what happens? What's for it? On its own, with no effort, right? Running should be the same exact thing. In most cases, right, you wanna lean and let your feet kind of follow behind the lean, right? Be conscious of where you're actually landing, okay? Landing tells the story. How should we have our feet? If we're distance running, which most of us are doing, right? The most you should ever be pulling up your legs. So when we're talking pull, my foot should only come up to my knee at the most, okay? Just, just here. But for this, all we're doing is we're pulling up our foot just to our calf, okay? So just this, this high. And I'm pulling my foot up my leg, all right? So I'm pulling my leg up my leg and I'm kind of kicking back, okay? And go. Good, and rest. Okay. So next thing we're gonna do is we're actually gonna go against the wall. Okay. So we're gonna do it against the wall. Is I want you guys to make a fist, and your arms are gonna be directly at 90 degrees. Okay. Good. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go from the fist, and you're just gonna go to an open palm. So now from your fist, you're gonna open an open palm against the wall. That is how much your knee should be when you're doing uh, this. So this is how this drill is going to work, okay? What I'm gonna do, Lupe, face there. And come back up front. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this on your hip, okay? Put it on your hip. When I say go, okay, Lupe's gonna run forward, okay? And I'm going to give her cues, okay? So I'm gonna either say high, high knees, better pull, lean with your hips, like, so the goal for this, right, is I'm restricting your hips. What I want you to do when you're running is really fight that and lean with your hips, okay, while you're running forward. When I feel like you're running with good form, I'm gonna say three, two, one, and I'm gonna let go. The general pace per leg per minute is 90 steps per minute per leg when distance run. If I was to just stand in place and just do this, how long do you think I could run in place for? Long time. Probably until I got bored, right? Like at some point, I'm like, this fucking sucks, right? But you could run like this forever, right? Like, and if I just, just lean, like lean into it. If I more lean, the faster I will speed up, right? For a lot of runs, so I wrote down shoes there. Shoes are something I wanted to talk about too. You can kind of segue into that part, right? Running shoes, right? I think for beginner runners, the bigger the, the, the heel, the better, 
okay? Because you're gonna have running falls and you wanna minimize the risk for your own running your legs, right, by the shoe, okay? So Brooks makes a really good shoe and Saucony makes a really good shoe for you. Under Armour, their HOVR, their um, hover brand, they really came out with a really good running shoe there. The only thing I don't like about it is it's really light on top. It's really flimsy, right? But I'm gonna ask you guys, so you guys are gonna start here and you're gonna run 50%, 60%, and then 70%, okay? So I'm gonna film your 70%, but I want you guys to just run. So you see, kind of like look weird, right? So you kind of like heel, right? So if you guys can kind of see, see this, I'll do it. You see how when his foot is hitting the ground, a little heel, but not too much, right? If you just push that, the one thing I'm gonna say about you is your legs are almost locked on your land. Right? Typically that goes straight to your knee. Okay. Look at this, look at, look where you're at, right underneath you, without even thinking of me, right? Like you don't have enough, I, I think, bend. In your knee and again that's that just eventually gonna maybe have some some damage to your your knee if you but I want you guys to use me as a running um, resource don't feel like you're bothering me at all text me okay um, the biggest take from today's seminar was understanding my body position when I was. I've always felt like I wasn't running correctly and now to know what I was doing wrong and what I need to do to fix was huge. I'm glad because I I did pay attention to him like doing like right underneath you. So that was a good pointer. I think that's why it looked like I know how to run. It was great. I learned a lot. Uh, definitely uh, interested in the running. Uh, hopefully I'll call Mike for some more tips, uh, especially on my breathing. My running form. What do you think about it? I gotta work on it. <laughs> <laughs> Watching the video of how I was running and looking at how I'm taking my strides, like I hadn't done that before, so knowing how to correct it, I think was a good takeaway to practice that. Because you don't feel it until you see that. So yeah. Yeah. You got running? I mean, you got change? <laughs> Come back to me, George. <laughs>